Phillies want to go back to Philly with a couple wins in their back pocket. Hi everyone, Lauren Chatty here bringing you the heat from the trap on your daily sports update presented by Toyota on CBSSports.com. Phillies raise game one of the fall classic between two teams touted as underdogs in a sense. The Rays have never won more than 70 games in a season before this year and the Phillies are seeking the city's first major title since the NBA's 76ers in 1983. They're off to a solid start with a 3-2 victory over the Rays at Tropicana Field. Cole Hamels picking up the win on the hill to win his fourth postseason start and in the meantime got a little help from his friend Chase Utley who hit a two-run homer in the first inning to get the Phillies going. The Rays didn't bring much to baseball's biggest stage. They managed just five hits, none after the fifth inning. Philadelphia will try to make it two in a row at Tropicana Field when Brett Myers, who has a 5.25 ERA, pitches against James Shields, who boasts a 3.72 ERA in game two tonight. Consider this, the team that won the opener has captured the series 63 of 103 times, including 10 of the last 11, but the team with home field advantage has taken 18 of the last 22 titles. The Rays aren't hanging their heads. Post game Shield says, it's never easy when you're down 0-1, but I think we've been pretty resilient all year long. Will he play or will he not? The answer to that question is he won't until November 16th. I'm talking about Tony Romo, whose broken little finger is causing him much trouble, and he wants to fix it up before he comes back into the game. The two-time Pro Bowl quarterback who wanted to try to play last week despite the injury on his throwing hand said Wednesday he now doesn't expect to play again until at least mid-November. That means Romo would miss at least two more games Sunday at Tampa Bay and the following week at the rival New York Giants. The boys, who are 4-3, and three, have lost three of their past four games. Now around the NFL, more injuries to deal with. An Arizona stud wide receiver Anquan Bolden had surgery to repair his sinus fracture and jaw. And although his status is uncertain, he was bumping heads with teammates in practice to see if he would be able to play on Sunday at Carolina. Good technique. That is still pending. Kansas City's running back Larry Johnson will be deactivated for the second week in a row, and quarterbacks Brody Croyle and Damon Heward were placed on injured reserve on Wednesday. Cleveland Browns tight end Kellen Winslow appealed his one-game suspension for critical comments he made about the Browns' handling of his hospitalization with a staph infection. And Brett Favre setting the record straight, denying he called former Detroit president Matt Millen to give him info to use in Detroit's game with the Green Bay Packers. Well, the first tip-off hasn't even happened yet, and already the Los Angeles Lakers are being hyped as the team to beat, according to a survey of the league's general managers. The Lakers received 46% of the vote, well ahead of the Celtics, who got 19% after they beat LA in six games in June for their 17th championship. And of course, helping them get there, Kobe Bryant. Lakers fans can rest easy. Kobe's right knee was a bit sore on Wednesday, but the injury is not serious, and it's possible he won't miss any playing time. Well, it is time now for me to go, but do not worry, we'll be back again tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.